If your inventory is stored at more than one location, in SIN 7 you'll need to create a branch to represent that. I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, inventory software expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly create a new branch in SIN 7. First of all, you may have noticed over here under the CRM list, next to customers and suppliers, there's a branch. But up here, there's no new branch button. It's top secret. It's over here on the top right hand corner. Click on your profile name and then select settings right there. That'll bring you to the settings screen. There's also a settings button down on the bottom left hand corner that'll get you there. Click on branches and then you'll see two options. Create a new branch and go to your list of branches. So click on create a new branch. Now shows us a little asterisk saying that this first field is required and it says company. This is the name of your branch. So if you have more than one building that you store your inventory in, whether it's a 3PL or a retail store or another warehouse in another city, this field will be the name of the city is one of the easiest ways to do it or the name of the 3PL company or maybe the name of the of the vendor company so it's something that helps you identify that building with an address that's basically what a branch is is it's a building with an address and you give it a name so we're going to give this first field a name we're going to call it a midfield because that's one of the cities that this test company I have up is in. Then who's in charge over there? Who's over that, that branch? That's the next name we want to put on in there is their contact information. So we'll say Carrie Underwood. You can tell I'm a country music fan. Job title, we'll say branch manager. Active, yes. Contact, yes. Pricing tier. We'll select wholesale and talk about the pricing tier in depth in another deep dive video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can quickly and easily find the deep dive playlist. We'll leave store a number blank. Uh, freight service, we'll talk about that in the deep dive video. And then let's fill in these fields. Okay, we have those fields filled in. Now we'll go down to the branch details. We've got an alternative GL cost. We'll talk more about that in the deep dive video as well. And actually, each one of these fields requires explanation that will take up enough time for another video. So check out our deep dive video for an explanation of these fields. Then we'll go ahead and enter in the delivery address for this branch and the billing address. Now we're up to the top on the right hand side. I love these notes. This keeps a manual journal record, if you will, if you want to put in some entries that are critical to the interactions we have with this branch. Then let's go ahead and add another contact. I'm sure Carrie doesn't work alone over there. So we're going to add their contact information. All right, once we have all that information in, we can click save and back. And now we have an additional branch that we can sell inventory from, purchase inventory to, receive inventory in, pick, pack, and ship inventory from, and transfer inventory to and from. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Lance with Brando Consulting. I'd love to see your comments below if you have other questions or other video recommendations.